Hey, hey gamers, another ramp review. We're going to Lake Williamstown, Grant County, Kentucky. Uh, basically, uh, go up here to uh, where it says to turn left off of 489. What road is this? Reb Stacy Way. All right, now to check out the way in here, um, because sometimes when it's busy, boats do park way up here at the top of the hill. Um, this parallel park up here in the grass. Um, there's a house, private property, where they do have it staked off. So you do gotta watch that. Um, the, park it, the park in here is somewhat limited. So consider that on busy days. Now, as we come down the road here, obviously land, ends right in the water. Um, there's private campers here on the right. You can't block the driveway access there. Uh, but there is parking right here Whoop. on the right-hand side. You get about seven trucks and trailers in there. You know, people know what they're doing. And people in cars just don't block it for you. So you come down here to the ramp. There's a turnaround spot here for people to back their, pull their trucks into and then back into the water. But the, it has a little prior, uh, reserved dock area there, the ramp right there. There is a no wake zone here, but obviously out in front, boats are going and it does create waves in here. So you really gotta watch that coming on and off the trailers. Uh, it's really basically a useless no wake zone um we've had boats in here i mean you can see them right there in the dock area they're just rocking um so you just gotta be careful of that there is over there the marina where you can pull up to um to get gas and um whatever they got little snacks in there but let me back around here the, the ramp is fairly steep um so you do have to watch that we'll come back around um, again you, if you park right there you can just back right into the water from there and if you look over there to the area they got more reserved slips they got a little party area where they have guitar uh, music entertainment on weekends um, you can come up here they do have car parking down this way uh, so people do park their boats down through there but it is hard to get out with the trailer. There is an access the other way, but if you get a longer trailer, you can't turn around and come back out that road. So people at the marina, they park there. And on tournament days uh, for bass tournaments, the you know, trailers are all up and down through here. There's another little spot right there. You can get maybe, maybe three if people park right. Um, we're here on a Sunday. It's predicted storms today, so it's not very crowded. Um, the lake is filled with or lined with houses on the banks um, so if you like dock fishing this is your place to be uh, there's dock after dock after dock um, there is part of the lake on the other end uh, that doesn't have docks it's undeveloped uh, but that's kind of a more limited portion of the lake um, during the summertime there's vegetation around the banks that really prevents you from throwing spinner baits, crank baits, stuff like that. Um, now that marina, that's Williamstown Marina we were just at. It has a $10 launch fee. It's a, a honesty box that you drop your money in. Um, they do have an annual pass. It is $80 uh, for the year. Uh, now what I did is that we're coming back to a free ramp now. Uh, they, that was, like I said, Williamstown Marina. Uh, but if you pass that road up here on 489 and you come on down through here, um, there's a free ramp that you can go to. It's just a short drive up here. 
the lake does have weekly bass tournaments on Wednesdays. There's occasionally tournaments on weekends every once in a while, but it is mainly pleasure boating. And then on Sunny Lane here, you turn down this way, and I'll show you the free ramp here real quick. It's a one lane ramp. It does have a parking area, gravel parking area. And this is in the lake. It's no slips down here. There's no courtesy dock. And it is where pleasure boaters are zipping back and forth. Um, so you do have to watch that too. Uh, I've been here on the weekend, or sorry, weekday before. And it's pretty calm on, during the week. Um, see some people on kayaks, canoes, going around, not getting rocked around too much. But uh, down there, let me drive on down. There's a water intake station here. But as you can see, you can easily get a boat down through here. Um, but there's there it is. That's all there is to it. So you got to have somebody that can... The partner that can back the trailer, operate the boat, all that good stuff. Because there's nowhere real. You can beach it down there, I guess, but it's rocky down there. I didn't really want to do it with my the glass boat. Um, I'll back back up through here and then show you the parking lot. There's private residences over here on the one side, so you do have to watch that. Trying to do this one-handed by myself but the parking area here it's not bad it's you can see you can get up here and if people angle their boats in here this guy kind of paralleled it uh i wouldn't do that i'd pull it more at an angle so you can get them lined up in here but you know how people are um sometimes at ramps um they don't do the brightest things so let me turn around here and just kind of talk for a minute but yeah that road goes on down to some lake houses that there's like I said lake houses all down through here um, here comes a guy in the trailer here I'm probably gonna be in his way let me get on out um, But yeah, Williamstown Lake. I put some more details about the lake in the in the um, description of the video. It's 300 and some acres. I get the specifics on that. It's 40 mile an hour speed limit, and they do enforce it. So you have to watch out for that. It's a lot of pleasure boaters on the weekends, uh, especially the sunny days and so forth. It's stormy, especially if you storms today. So that didn't seem too bad today there the fish in here I'll talk about that it's it has nice fish in it for the tournaments uh, weekend tournaments you got to be up in the low teens upper teens to win tournaments usually uh, there's plenty of three to six pound bass occasionally a seven pounders will be weighed in so a lot of small fish too so for the kids it is very good the, the little fish will just wear you out with um, rock bass, smaller bass, bluegill, sunfish. Caught some nice crappie in here too, so uh, it's a good lake to go to, get, take kids fishing. So we'll sign off on that. Like and subscribe. We'll do some more ramp videos. Oh, just one thing. There is another ramp on the lake, uh, Lemons Landing. It's on the other end. It's... 20 bucks to launch I've heard there nobody goes there hardly to launch um, but it is a ramp you can get a couple of trailers down it I think they got an annual pass as well but most people use the Williamstown Marina ramp or the the free ramp so Grant County Kentucky off of 489 just east of Williamstown Kentucky Grant County again a game custom lures like and subscribe uh, hit our website, see the lures we make and sell. Uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram too. Talk to you later. Bye.